Who is this yours? Clash of Demon Head. Basically the Nintendo, the NES. Do it all to what I am. Hey, bro, you want to get ice? That's a pricey shirt. NES. Is this for sale? So it's five in the morning and Ricky and I are at the swap meet. Now, it was supposed to rain today, so we're gonna be a little cautious and light-footed with the camera, but there is some crazy stuff happening today on the NES Pursuit. This episode of the NES Pursuit is brought to you by the wonderful Squarespace. Okay, so this is literally the first booth we're checking out. Look at this, Streets Rage 3. So I'm gonna be honest, these are all empty case, but look, these are CIB, Aeroflash, Castlevania Bloodlines, Thunder Force 3, X-Mutants, Sonic 2, Flashback, Altered Beast, some extra little goodies lying around. Yeah. Curtis trying to steal a Rob the Robot part for me, <laughs> thinking I won't notice. And then an N64 as well with a zapper. Let me deep dive a little bit. It is dark. Look, I have two guys <laughs> holding lights for me right now because it, it's still pitch black out here. So Dusty and I did come to a deal on it. It's actually pretty crazy the amount of good games in here. So I will say some of the games that are empty would have been bangers if they were in there, like Airbuster, Street to Rage 3, but we do have games like Aeroflash, CIB, Castlevania Bloodlines, just one of the best games, which is funny, I just recently got Bloodlines sealed, but it's the cardboard box. This is the hardcore box variant, I guess I call it hardcore, and Thunder Force 3, um, one of the best shooters there is. I, I should have pointed out our uh, cart situation now. We have Cardis over here just doing the double toe. We got it hooked up like the old snake now. Now, though, we're actually going to our buddy Brian's car who said he had some stuff for sale. I think he may even have NES. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. NES! But even doing that stuff, NES! Robin Hood Prince of Thieves. NES! Yes! <laughs> Video games! Ooh, what's that? Dino Crisis 2. Do loose. And what we got here? Indiana you know, Jones, dude. the Temple of Doom, and this is the Tengen version. Look at the back. You guys are doing Tengen, do Switch? Oh yeah, doing all of it, bro. Sick. I have some. Oh, I'm <laughs> bummed out about, oh, but it has the inner box, or the inner sleeve, because this is this is open right here. You have Tengen as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, because we're going to your storage, apparently. We are going to Curtis's storage after the swap meet. We're only gonna be here for a little bit because the weather is supposed to rain, so I think a lot of people are leaving, but, he says he has NES games. I do. So I think we'll be loading up and lubing up. Oh yeah, you better be. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Indiana Jones, Temple of Dune, Doom, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Two kind of funky games. I wouldn't say the most fun games in the world. If I had to pick one to play, I'm going this one only because I played it more when I was a kid. So add two more to the Pursuit Tally. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Soshima, Shima, Monino, Monino. Let's do it. Hey, Ricky, my boy, what you looking at, though, my boy? Looking at these, what are these, Arctic, Arctic blue? What do you call these? Ice? ice. I'm go, hey, bro, you want to get ice? You trying to get iced? I am. Biggest throwback, remember episode one? Oh, bucks. yeah, the teal one. <laughs> right in the beginning for, for 20 bucks back in the day. Dude, damn. We used to get these at 10 bucks back in the day. <gasps> By the way, make sure to check out Pixel Podcast at Pixel Plus on oh, YouTube. Oh, yeah. All right, Ricky bought it. So the question of the day, favorite N64 game, that's not a mainline game. How about that? Give me an N64 game that's not like a Mario game or a Zelda game. I wanna hear your favorite that's a different one. Mischief Makers. Mis mischief Makers for Ricky. What the? Who, is this yours? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I walked by, I'm like, wait, who has an NBA Jam arcade cab just sitting here? Nice, did you get it here? Yeah. Nice, dude. All right, I know it's super hard to see, but we are at 93 games total right now for the NES Pursuit. And you may notice that last week we're at 85 when we left off, and that's because we found a couple like loose, janky games. It was nothing uh, worth filming or reporting to you guys. So that's where we're at, 93. So the Swap Meet was actually much better than Ricky and I expected with all the Nintendo 64 stuff, the crazy Genesis stuff, Unreal. But now we're headed out and we're leaving to go to Curtis's storage where he apparently might have some NES. Without getting copyrighted, I'm going to be talking over this song, but what is this song playing in the background right now? I can't let you hear much more because we'll get copyrighted.
Oh boy, here we go. We're time to get some Nintendo games. So our Nintendo games are for sale, I'm guessing. Everything's for sale, dude, except for your heart. Listen to my <laughs> heart. Listen to my heart. Scuzz, but yeah. Hey, so are you and we love you. <laughs> this is a little scuzz, but I think with a little, maybe I'll reach out to Collector Protector and get a little box on it, because it definitely needs a, it definitely needs a, a problem. It needs a little love. It needs a little love. But yeah, we should have brought our card in. We will bring our card in. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, I would take this. Uh, right. Let me see what else. Let's go. No. Here I am, doing everything I can, doing all to what I am. That thing just cracked. No, I, I restored the whole thing. Oh, did you? Yeah. Until it broke right now. Wow, check this out. <laughs> we Woo! Batman standees. Curtis has got, uh-oh, vented. Ooh. Boy. Dang, Curtis. Curtis. Got the heat, baby. Look at this. Curdy, my boy. Man, that's a sick hat right there. Look at yeah, this. Yeah, Ricky gave me that. Look at this one. Woo! Got your vintage bangers? Yeah. Yeah, these yeah. are some bangers right here, dude. These are the ones I haven't cleaned up, these vintage bangers. Like, they wow. need like, a bit of oxy bath. Can I pull one out just to see? Yeah. What we got, Ricky? Let's see. This is a size XL Nintendo 64. That's a pricey shirt. Vintage. Yeah, yeah. Are these for sale now, huh? No, no, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> Damn. No. These are like personal, <laughs> like, right now I'm still moving some stuff, you know, so it's kind of like. This is, weird, this is stuff from his office, bro. I actually moved everything out of my office. Exactly. So it's like pretty crazy. Curtis with the VHS. Got some Dragon Knight, some Sailor Moon, some Bubblegum Crisis. Nice, ooh, Exorcist 2. That's a good one right there. I was told, I was told this is the spot. Yep. Uh-oh. Everything. There's NES, my guy. That one, those are my broken ones. These are broken. Those are broken, yeah. Ooh, Turbo Graphics. <laughs> That's from Caleb. Yeah. Wow. Stuff, stuff from Caleb's. Okay, so let's see. So, oh dude, right off, this is one that I was actually just telling Gabble that I'm really looking for. One of my favorite NES games right here, Tiny Toons. I'm so tired of people comparing it to Super Mario 3 because I feel like maybe an aesthetic, but as far as the gameplay, I don't I don't feel that connection a lot of people do. Dragon Power, Macario Warriors 2, I do have CIB, Demon Sword. Oh boy, Ricky, Ricky, let's see. I'm gonna pull these to the side, and yes, I am going, another one I'm gonna have to get. Now, Ricky and I, we did agree that we're not just doing like North American, we're doing Pan-Asia, we're doing Tengen, we're doing uh, all the color dreams, anything that we can get, we're gonna grab. So Crazy Creatures will be one. Uh, fun fact, super fun game. Like, super good game. There's another one. Oh, let's go, oh, it's Batman! <laughs> <laughs> This is one of the best Nintendo games out there by a long shot. We're talking King of Kings. No, I'm just kidding. Batman. <laughs> <laughs> that was the one. King of Kings ain't that bad, right? I'm gonna, I, I, I stand up for a lot of the uh, the Christian Bible games. Maybe just because I have a pass with them. I just know one that's like ultra scuzz is this one. Yes, another one of my favorites. Two of my favorites in here, besides Blades of Steel. Oh, Ricky, we have the red variant, so we are gonna need the gray box. But check it out, ready? Yeah. Two of my favorites right here. Rygar, and even better, code name freaking Viper. The soundtrack on this is so underrated. The sound effects when you save the kids, they go. <laughs> it's a beautiful game. This is great. Just found, I call this a retro Rick special. Clash at Demon Head. So Rick loves Clash at Demon Head. Now I gotta say, I don't like it as much as him. I'm hideous. I tried to be into it as much as he is because I know he loves it. But it's still it's still a recommend. I like the blockbuster. Yeah, yeah, like I like those ones. On there. I kept them on there because I was like, dang, blockbuster is legit. Ricky does love himself some Willow the movie right here. Willow, so. Willow. Ooh, also, oh, I do have Blaster Master already. Kabuki Quantum Fighter. I don't have that. I don't have Life Force yet. Nintendo, we're back for you. We love you and we're sorry we ever left you. Please, we, we, Miyamoto, I'll lick your bubble. That <laughs> I'll never do that, and I should never say that again. <laughs> As you can see, though, I do already have Willow, so this one goes back. So I will, I will owe you money on a different game. <laughs> Nobody got that joke. Oh, uh, 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 you guys freaking hey, suck! Dude, I, hey, Curtis, are these for sale? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's for sale. You sure? Yeah. Is there a yeah. left rose in here? There might be a left rose in there. 
But it might be a bad box. I mean, dude, it's <laughs> not that rare. It's ah, oh, the box is scuzzed. <laughs> scuzzed, but hey, man, left rose. Still good though. Left, it's still left rose. Left rose, baby. Sheesh. <laughs> Where'd that come from? That was odd. Ricky, I found you a maraca. Ooh. Let's see, a random box of clothes. But, aha, Curtis. Yo, that's a good one. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Those Look at these, Ricky. Clean. Yo. Those are all clean Look at this. Oh. Yo, those are great. Where are they? <laughs> <laughs> so fun fact with hats for us, the way to test if they're adult size is if Ricky can wear them. Oh my gosh. Ricky has a giant head. <laughs> so let's see, ready? Ooh, it fits. Dude, it fits and it's only a three. Wow, that is a real adult hat because you, you real literally adult? have a big head. I really do. Curtis loves holes though. <laughs> yeah. oh, what are you guys laughing? Curtis <laughs> loves holes. <laughs> Ooh. No, sure Ooh. Right there. Wow. Zelda collectible t-shirt. Yeah, I mean, a lot of, if you don't know, I mean, I know we've talked about it a million times in the show. Vintage tees and stuff like this is, this is like a case full of $300 each, you know, $200 each NES games if you're in the vintage world to put it into perspective. Wow, I love this like weird family learning games. Elf, but is this actual elf? Like, elf, yeah. I can't say elf, the word elf. elf. Everyone always says I say it wrong. Elf. Is this elf like oh the spaceman elf? No, see, look, it's like their own character elf. So weird. Oh yeah, that's still a cool looking game though. <laughs> Very, very vintage, very vintage. Elf in the color caves. Ricky, why don't you skadoodle your way down here? Here he is, doing everything he can. He's Ricky, Ricky, man. Oh, he's crying, he's cruising, he's a skateboarder, he's, he's Tony Hawk. Is that Bam Margera? Whoa, let's go, go. What'd you say? What are you looking at? This is like a pricey one. Really? Kar karate. Karate Karate Tika. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. a Broderbund game. I love Broderbun games, actually. They make uh, Legacy of the Wizard. Bros, yeah, for real. Yes, Broders. They make Broders. <laughs> and by the way, this is a Saddam Hussein punching bag. That's easy, bro. <laughs> Which is, oh, good. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, we're grinding and riding and riding down the hallways. Oh, somebody just saw me and probably thought I was really dumb. Also, I've noticed that my hair is getting lighter. Isn't that weird as I get older? Like, my hair is actually getting lighter. Is that like I'm losing pigment? Because I'm going great. I'm getting older. I'm getting older. I'm getting. I'm getting Nintendo games. Curtis, what did you want to do with the Nintendo games? As far as like, did you want me to just like go price them out at home? Yeah. And then tell you the value, and then you let me know like what you want from it. Yeah. No, I trust you. Yeah, you can do whatever you want to do. Dude, I'm totally gonna wax. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> I'm totally gonna tell them they're like twenty bucks for all of them. Oh, I love <laughs> oh. these, man. Yes. I love getting these. these oh, ones. there's some of the coolest things from, so they're from old Nintendo cards, if yeah, you're wondering. Yeah, they're tops, 89. You could find them in like the bubble gum style, <laughs> old school looking ones, but there's all, I always say these would all make really cool t-shirts. Like if that was a t-shirt, it just looks so rad, or this right there. That's me, I love games. Oh yeah, oh yeah. With these games, we are now at 126 NES games. Let's go! Ricky, what's your favorite game of these? In here, uh, probably, ooh, Viper. Oh, Viper is so good, bro. I love that Mario Bros. 3 is in there and we didn't even have that yet. But hey, this is the beginning. 126 games, bro? Actually, I take it back. It was Batman. I'm Batman! Give me the games! Robin? Why are you so girly? Well, get it, Ricky. Bum, bum. Ooh, the sunshine and lollipops. It still hasn't rained yet, Ricky. We got to get our cart so we can put some of this stuff away. It's time to so put. Now we get to put our stuff. We still have our Genesis games in here from earlier. The Genesis does. Sega, the Power Edge. No? <laughs> I don't play Genesis. <laughs> <laughs> this is still one of the coolest things. I know it's beat to crap, like we said, but honestly, so not sponsored, but shout out to our homies at Collector Protector. You order something like this, put it in one of those things. After a while, it will like start to form and look perfect after a while. Obviously, it's not going to actually be no! perfect. What up? No! Ro oh, wait, I have a thing for you. No! Do you need a piece for him? Huh? Yeah, I do actually. I need his rotor. I have it for you. Ooh. And I'll give it to you for free. Oh, sick. Let's go. For free plus $40. For free. <laughs>
Is it because you're going to wax them on the games? I'm going to tell them I'd only give them like 20% of price charging. Okay, well, no, actually how we're working it out is I'm giving them 60% cash. Holy rip the cover. You just take it. You just take it. No, <laughs> that I wouldn't feel comfortable with. You know there's one on eBay for 2500 somebody bid it. Oh my gosh. Nintendo World Championships 19... Is this signed by Tony Turok? Yeah. So this is Tony Turok, if you guys don't know. Tony, Tori, Tori. Tori Turok. I yeah. always say Tony. Tori Turok is the person who announced... Um, Jared, I'm sure, can put in some B-roll of him announcing the Nintendo World uh, Championships. He's in charge of, like, MCing it and DJing it and just being an MC and DJ Mofa. I'm a Shimomo guy. I'm a really, really fly when I take out my pants. Curtis's mom does a dance. Whoa! Well, I don't even know. All right, say, say this again. Last time, la audience, last time Jared cut this out and Curtis was mad. Yeah, Curtis, because that joke was not funny. Go ahead, Curtis, say it. Oh, wait, 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 I gotta do it. Just All right, yeah, 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 yeah. he's gotta do it. Huh? All right, ready? Yep. Oh, Night at the Roxbury. Oh, man, Night at the Roxbury. What, what, so what? he tipped his hat like this. And who do you think that guy was? Amelia Estevez, the mighty And I was like, Amelia! Amelia! <laughs> Ricky, Ricky bought this so like a few months ago. Oh, by the way, look at his hat, baby. She not available anywhere yet. Um, actually, it was on whatnot. Ha! Huh? See, you got to go on whatnot. But look, this is from original Nintendo display, so this is gonna look perfect on the Nintendo wall. That Ooh. on the Nintendo wall. It's almost like we have a show called. Look, we have the yeah. original game that John Riggs. Oh, made. let's go! He gave us each a copy. And let's copy go! Yeah, look. Let's go! <laughs> the OGs know. The OGs know. Curse is definitely not an OG, but nope. he's here to nope. be. OP. Oh, OP. What's OP mean? Original. Old person? Original penis? <laughs> That's Curtis. <laughs> so, on the original videos of the NES Pursuit back in the day, Ricky and I were clearly into health and fitness. So much health and fitness. So we got to go to the same place we ate pretty much every episode. It's Del Taco, baby. Time to get shakes and tacos at what? It's like 7.30 in the morning. I'm going to get fat, aren't I? I mean fatter. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky, I actually tried the birria ramen already. Yeah? Yeah. It was like... A six out of ten. It wasn't horrible. It wasn't bad. It was just kind of. I, I mean, I like Del Taco, but I wouldn't try anything like that here. Ricky, expand your mind. Listen, I've gotten food poisoning like three times since we've been in NES Pursuit, and that was all Carl's Jr. all three times. Just like the old days. I don't learn my lesson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get one Mexican food item for the rest of your life. What's it gonna be? Uh, carne asada bowl. Carne asada bowl. Oh, your food's ready. Curtis, what about you? One Mexican food item for the rest of your life. Carne asada burrito, dude. Easily, easily. Mine's gonna be like eating actual Mexican people. <laughs> like eating them. Like their flesh. Yeah. <laughs> like a Hannibal Lecter status? Yeah, H Hannibal. Hannibal? Hannibal. <laughs> uh, uh, Hannibal. <laughs> I have to make this very clear. Ricky did in fact get churros. So after Del Taco, Ricky, Curtis, and I decide to go to Home Depot because it is time to build our NES shelf. So let's do it. Let's head to the Home Depot. Yeah! Here we go. Let's see. Wood shelving. Wood shelving. Okay. So we need to decide. Ooh, we could go marble and go... No, way too heavy. <laughs> that would be a horrible <laughs> idea. You know, we might just need to go... I want white and clean. Yes, I do want white shelving. I want it nice and clean and simple. We used to do like the more wood look, but I want to steer away from that and go more like that reminds me more Atari. This reminds me more Nintendo. So I think we'll go with that. But now we got to decide what we want on these, which we'll decide in a few moments. Excuse me. Where are the shelves? Knee pads. Curtis, I could have sworn I saw your mom buying a bunch of these last hey. week. <laughs> Please Thank remove you. your card. Perfect. Thank you, Home Depot. 100 and, what is it, 170, oh, there it is. 175 bucks for shelving. Cool. Ladies and gentlemen, the rain has officially decided to come, so we gotta go quick, because my new camera. I'm not gonna risk it for the biscuit. All right, Ricky, let's do it. And, buy myself flowers. I'm telling you, gentlemen, get your wife the flowers and you'll never be in trouble. So we're back at my house now and we're gonna be adding some NES games and some banger NES games from Ricky's old collection, just the few we had left to add to our final tally to see exactly where we're at. Ricky, it is time to add. We, have, we were at 126. Yep. 
And here's the ones that Ricky had left. We interrupt this episode of the NES Pursuit to say thank you to Squarespace, a wonderful platform on which to create your website. You gotta love Squarespace's online store. You can sell your products in an online store. Whether you sell physical, digital, or service products, Squarespace has the tools you need to start selling online. They also have a really cool asset library. Upload, organize, and access all your content from one place. With the new asset library, you're able to manage all your files from one central hub and use them across the Squarespace platform. Get started with one of our professional website templates. With designs for every category and use case. Then customize your look, update content, and add features to fit your unique needs. You can make any Squarespace template do what you want. So your idea, brand, or business stands out online on every device. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash pixel game squad to save 10% of your first purchase of a website or domain. Mario 2, which how the heck do we not have Mario 2 yet out of 126? I don't know, that doesn't even make sense. Happy but what else, Wally Bear? Bear? That's, a, that's a funky. Frankenstein? Rock and Cat, Snow, Snow Bros. Bros, Mega Man 6, World Cup, Zombie Nation, Mega Man 3, Ghouls and Ghosts, and this one's not even like, I, oh. I just had to throw this on. I don't know so if we funny. can technically add that to the count, because it's not, it's like a homebrew. <laughs> I was laughing, I was like, oh, I'm gonna put that on there. That's so fine. this, we'll, we'll use this, but we won't technically add this one. Because I don't, I don't it, think we can do like homebrews no, 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 in the no. count. If, if it was homebrews, we would never stop. Or homebrews hacks, yeah. like new releases. Yeah. I don't is, think they'll count for the total. This is Gamester's game. Which is awesome, awesome game, Awesome game. Check this out, by the way. Gamester 81, you guys gotta check this. That guy made an awesome game. Sydney Hunter, their whole team, Collector Vision. Oh, are we? I'm about to shout out, out of all of Ricky's games, probably the least expensive one, but in my opinion, one of the best. It's so good. World Cup, the cover is so deceiving. You see the cover and you think, crappy, dumb, just generic sports game. No, Technos Japan style, awesome characters, power-ups. It is one of the most fun experiences you can have. And Ricky and I did confirm that they made Mexico the best team on the game. They really did. They did, they straight up capped all the Mexican people at the top, right? Mexican is number one, right, Kinsley? No. No? No. <laughs> That's racist. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. So now we're at 136. Da, 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 Rain is falling, rain is coming down. I don't like the rain. I don't like days like this. What I didn't show you guys, because I got it off camera, is a Famicom disc system. Now this is for basically the Nintendo, the NES, but from Japan, but it is the disc. I know if you go, you guys ever see the awesome looking discs? You hear those boys? You slapping yourself a nice Zelda disc? These things are beautiful, so I thought this has to go on our shelving, which by the way, is being installed right now by Ricky. Curtis is working on podcast studio stuff. It's a mess. I'm gonna start getting some of our loose Nintendo games into our beautiful, beautiful miniboxgaming.com. Don't forget, awesomest place in the world to store your NES games. Let's work, baby. Ladies and gents, as I was about to shove my new copy of Tiny Toons in my amazing box, I found something inside of this box that shouldn't have been there that I didn't know I have. Roller Games, a game by Ultra, one of the best Nintendo games. I love roller games. You gotta hear the soundtrack. You gotta do the gameplay. This is a absolutely fantastic game. And ladies and gents, that puts us at 100 and, what was the number? 37 NES games. Okay, so Tiny Toons and Roller Games are in their boxes, but I have to say while I was doing that, Again, I had cases in the wrong box. I found two more games, Orb 3D and Pictionary, underrated soundtrack. I am telling you, fire, fire, Tim Fullen, same as Silver Surfer, you gotta listen to the soundtrack. But now, we're at 137, 138, 139 NES games. seeing this weekly or how often they go out, make sure and keep in mind that we had a lot of mini cases already made that didn't have games in it. So our count is where our count is. We still have e extra boxes that are unfilled. So for instance, these are not filled. They're not, well, there's like sometimes filler games in them, but these are not filled um, with the actual games. All this stuff is filled and all this stuff is filled. CIB, 
or complete or with our mini cases. So, and then these are obviously all the original games as well. You okay, Curtis? Oh, shit. You ready? I'm good, I'm good. I'm you good. ready, bro? Yeah, I'm ready, I'm you ready. You ready to get this for, podcast going? Wait for Beto. Yeah, we have our buddy Beto <laughs> who runs our podcast stuff, Pixel Plus, by the way. He's gonna come and literally help us get all of our equipment. I mean, look at this. All set up, all dialed in, get us plugged in and going so we have our from home base and slow to be, surely to be, game wall game room. So this is an original Nintendo sign and we know the AC is ugly as heck. What we're gonna do is build a box around it that closes that you can't see and put like a display on it. And when we film the podcast, then we will. By the way, here's our friends who are helping us run the podcast. Beto and Joseph. Beto is responsible for the podcast looking right. Joseph's gonna be taking over soon. Yes. For sure, for sure soon. <laughs> so it'll be cool. We're gonna only have this running when the podcast is on anyway, so. It's on already this running. Ricky, it's getting busy in here, so, so I think it's time.